Hello, you're on channel Honey Story Time. All the material in this video is copyrighted and produced by our team. Enjoy watching. I'm at the asshole for dropping a friendship that I used to have. A friend, let's call her Olivia. Olivia moved to my school a while ago, and I knew she wanted friends, so we started hanging out. At first, everything was going great. She was funny and nice to me until we started talking about LGBTQ plus issues. She would make homophobic and transphobic remarks constantly. One of her favorite people to target were people who use they, them pronouns. She didn't know that I was bi and non-binary and used they, them pronouns. This stuff really got to me. She would also treat people like crap. And if I tried to tell her to stop, she would threaten to drop me as a friend and I didn't want to lose my only friend, so I just dealt with it. I was friends with her for five years. Because of being friends with her, my mental health spiraled. I endured this for many years. There was one night where I almost relapsed after being clean from hurting myself for a year. I called her up and I just told her I did not want to be friends with her anymore. Of course, she didn't like that. She yelled and screamed at me, but I just hung up. The next day, I saw her sister coming towards me at the bus stop. It ends up she has a really bad home life and has no other friends other than me. So am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for kissing and liking my best friend's crush? Last summer, me and my best friend and this guy, I'll call him Ryan, were always together. Me and my best friend always thought Ryan was super cute and I told her I used to have a crush on him. Well, Ryan and I started hanging out without my best friend a lot more. And things started getting more intense between us and I started to catch feelings again. We were cuddling in my bed one day and I really wanted to kiss him, so I grabbed his phone out of his hand and went in for a kiss. And he went in for it too. Every time we hang out alone, we kiss, but we don't tell my best friend. We were both super close with her, but I felt really weird telling her and making it super awkward between all of us. So one day I was in a big group of people, including Ryan and my best friend. And my best friend asked if we could talk alone. So we went and sat on a bench further away from the group and she told me she liked him and I kind of just sat there awkwardly staring at her. I was in complete shock because she never showed any interest. I told her what happened between me and Ryan and how I caught feelings again and she got super mad at me. But I don't feel like it's my fault because I had no idea. So I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole for going on a trip without my boyfriend. Me, female, and my boyfriend, male, have been dating for over a year now. Since we started dating, we have done everything. He has gone on every family trip since and is with me every weekend. He is a few months older than me, meaning that he is a year above me in school. He graduated last year during the pandemic and wasn't even able to have a senior trip or even have a graduation. I'm graduating this year. Me and my best friend have planned to go on a beach trip near our city. The original plan was to go with our boyfriends, since both of them were from other schools and graduated last year, but also inviting a few of our school friends. When organizing with our friends, we decided that it was all best if we didn't invite them to the trip, since everyone doesn't really know everyone, and so we can have a better time reminiscing about all the things we experienced in the last five years, especially since two of our best friends are leaving the country right after graduation and we probably won't see them again or have a trip with them. They both got really offended when we told them the agreement and telling them that we could do our own trip to the four of us, working around their schedule since they both work our own university. So, am I the asshole? You guys can always submit stories on my Instagram DM. Am I the asshole for liking a guy that I think my friend likes? I started high school two years ago, and on my first day, I met this guy. Let's call him Y. I instantly really liked him. We walked to class together and sat next to each other on the bus for our first school trip. At the same time, I became friends with this girl, and let's call her L. I introduced her to Y. Me and L had most of our classes together, including one with Y. Me, L, and Y were kind of loners, so we all became a close trio, even though that me and L are both closer to each other than we are with Y. Me and L talk about everything except crushes. I don't know why, but I guess it's just more fun to us to guess who we like. There was a few times last year when she had asked me if I was dating Y because she said that she got that vibe from us. I said no because I wasn't, but I didn't tell her that I liked him. I asked her if she was dating him and she also said no. It's weird because I think we both like him, but I'm not sure. I've tried to stop liking him, but it's hard. So, am I the asshole for liking him? Am I the asshole for dating my best friend's ex? For context, I'm a sophomore in high school. My friend Anna and I were really close at school, but as of high school, we never talked. She would leave me undelivered for weeks. Then, she started dating this guy I used to snap and kind of had a thing for a long time ago. Over the summer, I messaged Anna almost every day trying to keep up a bond, but obviously she never respond. And honestly, it hurt a lot, so I texted her boyfriend Jake and told Jake to have his girlfriend answer her phone because I missed her. Then he informed me that they split up a long time ago and that I brought up a past he's not comfortable speaking about. Obviously, I felt bad and asked if he wanted to go to the carnival, my treat, as a way of making it up to him. He agreed and him and my two friends all went to the carnival. At the carnival, we got along and ended up kissing. We hung up afterwards at his house and he expressed that he liked me. At first, I rejected him, telling the kiss was a huge mistake. Then I come home to find out that Anna blocked me on everything. After weeks of getting to know Jake, I couldn't help it and really started liking him, and we started talking. Around the 4th of July, we started dating. When we got back to school, Anna's friends were harassing me, making fun of me and calling me a homeworker. So, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for moving on from my ex within a month? 
My ex and I got together in the summer of 2020, right when COVID was starting to get a little bit better. We have been friends for years before that, and it felt really natural. But one issue was I wasn't over my ex. He was a foreign exchange student, and he had to go back home because of COVID. We decided that we weren't going to try things out because of the long distance. And we both have never done it before, and we were scared. It's not that we didn't have feelings for each other, though. With that being said, I needed to move on, so I got with my friend and ended up getting pregnant. So, I decided to try and make it work, but my feelings for the exchange student never went away. When I was nine months pregnant, about two weeks before I was about to give birth, my ex dumped me and kicked me out of the apartment that we had gotten together. So within a month, I was over the baby daddy and started texting the guy I never stopped having feelings for. So would I be the asshole for moving on? And guys, you guys can always submit stories on my Instagram DM. Thank you! I'm an asshole for stealing my best friend's ex-boyfriend. I have known my friend Alice since we're in fifth grade. A little backstory, we became friends really quickly and for a few months it was great. She dated this guy in fifth grade and then later on I dated him, but I apologize because I knew it was wrong. Later on, we become friends with this guy named Noah. Him and I have an instant connection and become very close very quick, but I never told Alice how I felt about him. Soon after, she told me that she liked him. In remembering our past incident, I stayed quiet. And they started dating, but after a few weeks, a long distance, they ended it. Years later, Alice and I regained in touch with Noah, and we click again. We give each other our Snapchats not knowing this pissed off Alice. Him and I talk every day and become really close, and we really like each other, but the second Alice found out, she went off on me, telling me I'm going for a sloppy second. She even told me it's him or her. I told her she really just does not care about my feelings, and I put her before me forever. She apologizes. Matt and I still talk, and she makes me feel so bad for it and even gets other people to make me feel bad as well. We made two new friends and she instantly starts telling them about our situation. She says I stole three of her boyfriends and then I'm a snake. This is the spark that ended our friendship. She always overlooked me. Everything was always my fault in her head. Oh, I'm at asshole. I'm at asshole for choosing my boyfriend over my best friend. I was best friends with this girl throughout middle school and high school and let's call her Brit. I'd get really excited when we had class together. Another one of my friends, Kate, was in this class too. I suggested that Kate join our duo and make a trio. Soon, the three of us did everything together. Not long after that, my boyfriend, we'll call him Jake, and I started dating. He and I started hanging out a lot because of our new relationship. When we started dating, Kate and Britt got really close. Britt then got a boyfriend who she never met in person. She would get mad at me for talking about my boyfriend. After that, Britt and Kate would only invite me to go out if they couldn't drive anywhere. And if we wanted to get food. They would always forget their wallets, so I had to pay. To the point where they'd also make plans in front of me. I was absolutely miserable, so I moved lunch tables away from Britt because due to COVID. It was just the two of us at the table and I asked the teacher in class if I could move away from them as well. This, of course, led them to say things like I was annoying and that they had been trying to get rid of me and that I'm only pretty enough to do things with and not to date and much worse. So am I the asshole? Would I be the asshole for not telling my best friend that her boyfriend may be cheating on her? My friend and I have been best friends for three years. There's this guy that she has a crush on, we'll call him Jack, and Jack is perfect, plays football, super cute, super smart, and has a lot of girls that like him. My best friend became closer with him, and I encouraged it because he seemed really great. A few weeks later, he asked her out, and they've been dating for almost two months. Two days ago, I saw him putting his arm around another girl. When I saw that, I followed them more, and they kissed. My first instinct was to take pictures, and I was going to tell her right away. But then I remembered something. Her last boyfriend cheated on her, and my other friend Maddie told her about it. And the thing is, she dropped Maddie immediately, and just said that she was jealous of their relationship. I personally really don't want to lose her as a friend, but I also don't want her in this toxic relationship. So what should I do? And you guys can always submit stories to me on my Instagram DM. Thank you. Am I the asshole for opening up to my boyfriend's mother about him cheating on me? My boyfriend and I have been dating for a year and we had a pretty good relationship until I found out he'd been talking to another girl behind my back. But after a long time of discussing it, I decided to forgive him and try again. Recently, while I was at my boyfriend's house, we had an argument over me being suspicious of him and he locked himself in his room and refused to talk to me. In an act of despair and panic, I fell to the ground. When his mom quickly ran up the stairs and questioned me, to which I told her the whole story while sobbing, she told me that she would talk to him. And after she drove me home, he texted me angrily asking me why did I tell her, and said that I was trying to ruin his relationship with his mom, all because he says that I'm just being petty. So would I be the asshole for opening up to my boyfriend's mother about him cheating on me? And guys, you guys can always submit stories to me on my Instagram DM. But please also make sure you guys read the rules located in the highlights bar. Thank you. Am I the asshole for cutting off my dad? So for a little backstory, my mom and dad have been together for 20 years and they have three kids. Me, my sister, and my brother. We all have autism and ADHD. Apart from my sister who only has autism. This really led to my mom focusing all her attention on us and not her relationship. She was also abused by her stepdad when she was younger. So that caused her a lot of PTSD. And she really does not like being touched. A few weeks ago, my dad split up with my mom because she wasn't affectionate enough and he didn't love her no more. 
This obviously really upset all of us, but I understood because you can't help your feelings. He then admitted that he had a new girlfriend. He admitted to me that there's a connection there and he was flirting with the woman before he split up with my mom. What also makes it worse is my mom introduced this woman to my dad and let's call her Jen. When my mom found all this out, she went missing and tried to unalive herself. Now my dad says that she has to look over all of us and isn't a good mom and is constantly insulting her. My father has never acted like a father and has always found an issue in looking after us or even doing something for us. I told my dad if he wants to stay in contact with me, he'd have to leave his new girlfriend. He chose his girlfriend. His family is calling me unreasonable now. Am I the asshole for getting mad at my mom for catching COVID? I just had my first day of school and I got pulled out three hours in because my mom found out that she had COVID. I obviously was furious and very annoyed with her because I know I should be taking care of her and bring her soup in bed and stuff like that. But she honestly acts like she doesn't even have it. She still does work, still cooks, and does everything that she normally and usually would do. I was really expecting just to go to school the next week, but she told me that I would not be able to go in until September 7th, which obviously kind of upset me. I blew up on her. I called her selfish and stuff like that because she would never wear a mask right. And whenever me and my sister were told her to put it on right, she would just make excuses. And one of her excuses was that she was vaccinated. And now I feel like she robbed me from my first week of school and all my activities because of her selfish acts. So, am I the asshole for getting mad at my mom for catching COVID? And guys, you guys can always submit stories to me on my Instagram DM. Thank you. And make sure you guys also read the rules. Am I the asshole for not wanting to go back to my dad's house after how my stepmother treats me? So my parents both got divorced and both got remarried when I was little. My mom and stepdad are great and I love being at their house, but my stepmom is honestly a bitch. She would constantly degree to me in private and sometimes in front of my dad, but not as bad. And my dad would never say anything when she said stuff. Also, I'm bisexual and she would constantly yell at me for coming out to people in her family. Because I was putting my dad in a hard spot with family he knew for longer and is closer to. The day I finally decided I had enough was when she degraded me for 30 minutes on a car ride to my mom's house. I had only gone to my dad's house for one night and I didn't do my chores. She called me a manipulator, a manipulative idiot, and an asshole, abusive, and she said I treat her like shit and she was going to treat me like shit. I told my dad I wasn't coming back to his house and he said we'd talk about it. I said no, I'm not coming back and it's been a month since I've gone to his house. Yesterday he called and asked when I planned on coming home. I told him I don't know. I haven't thought much about it. I have and I've planned on not going back. He started telling me I'm not being fair to my brother, my stepmom, and him. So am I the asshole? I'm the asshole for going on a date with my boyfriend's best friend. We met in college and we were attached at the hip. We did everything together. We went to the same college so we saw each other every day. And I really thought that he was the one. Until there was a guy in one of my classes that totally caught my eye. I was assigned to work with him on a project, and I kind of started to fall for him. We hung out a lot because of this project, and it turns out he's one of my boyfriend's friends. I only found this out because I stalked his Instagram and saw a pic of him and my boyfriend. I didn't know my boyfriend's friends yet because we were really private. And this guy did not know I was his best friend's girlfriend, and I wanted to keep it that way. We started getting closer and closer. I made the first move and asked him out. I was still with my boyfriend, though. He said yes, and I was super happy. I knew I needed to break up with my boyfriend, but I was super scared of hurting him. After our first date, we kissed. Fast forward a couple weeks, my boyfriend introduces me to his friends. The guy I went on the date with was there. I mentally freaked out. He didn't say anything, but it was super awkward. I knew then that I should really break up with my boyfriend. We broke up and I started dating his best friend. I obviously feel really bad, but in a way, I'm happier. So I'm at the asshole. I'm at the asshole for mad at my grandma for giving me an ultimatum. I've wanted to get my septum pierced for years. I got my nose pierced a few months ago and my grandma hates it. I told her yesterday that I was going to go get my septum done. She said I would look like a ridiculous bull. I walked out of her house crying and ran into my dad's truck. She tried to keep apologizing and kept pestering me to forgive her. I was really upset and I was sobbing and I went into a full-blown panic attack. She would not leave me alone no matter what. I went to call my mom and my grandma called me a tattledale and a bitch. She also said when I get my new piercing, I am no longer welcome to visit her. My grandpa is dying so by me getting it done, I wouldn't be able to see him again. I am really pissed at my grandma. And I feel like this is my fault for being mad. So I really just want to know, am I truly the asshole in this situation? And I'd also want to know, would I be the asshole for getting it done because I really want it badly, even if that means I won't see my grandpa anymore? And guys, you guys can always submit stories to me on my Instagram DM. Thank you. I'm an asshole for not letting my mother-in-law come to the birth of my first child. I'm going to be giving birth to my son in a couple of weeks. And my mother-in-law has been saying a lot of things, making me not want her to be there at all. She's insisting that she'll be there during the birth in the same room and insisting that she'll be the first one to hold my son, even before me or my husband. That is not all of her craziness. During my baby shower, she took over and was telling everyone the gender before the gender reveal. She only knew what it was because she was one that made the cake. She has also been at our house every day trying to help out, but she ends up just controlling everything. I told my husband I do not want her there, and he said that he does because it's his mom. We have fought about it multiple times. I lost it, and I told his mom that she's not allowed to be at the hospital. 
She lost and started screaming at me and how it's her first grandchild and she deserves to be there. I don't know what to do. I'm scared that she'll show up even though I've said no. I've asked my husband not to tell her while I'm in labor and he told me that he has to tell her. They're both making me feel like the ass for even asking. So, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for leaving my cheating husband? My husband and I have had a really good relationship from the start. There was like nothing wrong. Well, until he moved jobs. There was a woman at his new job that I could tell really liked him. Every time I visited the office, she was in his office standing a little too close for comfort and would call him at home at very late hours. I went to surprise him at work and I saw them making out in his office. I was shocked and started yelling at him. She ran out of the office. A week later, I asked for a divorce and left for my mother's house. He called me every night crying and telling me that it was not what it looked like, that it was just a mistake. I hung up on him. I couldn't deal with it. His mother even tried calling him, saying that I was the best thing for him and that I should take him back and that cheating is normal in relationships. I feel so conflicted. I don't know if I was overreacting or if I'm doing what's right. My husband asked to have dinner and I went. He told me that he was really sorry and that he'll change. We're both in our mid-30s and I was wanting to have children really soon. I really do not want to start over, but at the same time, I cannot get over what he did.